Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about how to find the best voice teacher for you. Now as a voice teacher probably the number one question people ask me when they approach me is how much does it cost? The second question is where do you live? Where do you come from? To be honest those two questions should be the secondary consideration when you're looking for a teacher because no matter how much a teacher costs you want to get a teacher that can help you so the cheaper teacher may be a good teacher maybe a younger teacher but it pays to get the teacher that is going to be best for you because you are going to make progress more quickly than with a teacher that isn't as experienced or doesn't necessarily know what they're doing as well. I have seen people waste years of training with a teacher that doesn't really get them to their goals. And I know some voice teachers that sometimes don't have the skill set to help people. And I've heard them say under their breath, they're just not very talented or I don't know what to do with them, but they till take their money. I am not that kind of teacher. Everybody, in my opinion, can learn to sing. Some people need to work harder to build that skill, but you definitely want to get a voice teacher that can help you with your goals. So with that in mind, here are the two questions I think are the most important for when you are trying to find a teacher. First off is think about what level you're at because different teachers are better for people at different levels. Are you a beginner who wants to learn to sing? Are you somebody that has sung in the past but you want to rebuild your voice or you've had a long break? Are you an intermediate singer that wants to get some help as far as taking the next step, getting maybe cast in shows or singing in choirs? Or are you a professional singer that's already a working singer but you want to work on some new skills or you want some help preparing for an audition or some performance? So those different groups of singers are going to be different as far as what they're looking for in a teacher. I think the most important teaching consideration is the beginners. Those students that are at the intermediate level or they're more advanced, they know what they're looking for. They know what they need to get. So they are more educated to find the right teacher for them. It's the beginners that sometimes will go for the cheap deals or go for a friend or someone they like, but not necessarily making progress with the teachers. And it can be hard to make a teacher change when you really like your teacher, but you're really not feeling the growth. Because let's face it, voice lessons is a commitment. It's a commitment of time and it's a commitment of money. And so you want to invest in the very best training for you. So it's really important to ask those questions about what you're looking for in a teacher. Again, if you are a beginner or somebody who's still building your technique, you want to go to somebody who understands how to teach technique. Now, I know it doesn't sound intuitive, but there are a lot of great voice teachers that do much better working with intermediate to advanced singers because in that place, it's more about guiding them, picking out rep for them, and kind of coaching them through their rep. Not all of those people are able to really help beginners. So if you're a beginner, you really, really want to find somebody who can teach you the foundation of vocal technique. Good breathing, helping you work with tension or any problems that can come about. So to me, that beginning teacher is the most important if you want to build your singing voice. Then the second question is what kind of music are you interested in singing? So a lot, I've talked about this before. There are a lot of voice teachers that are classically trained, but they don't have any singing experience singing pop or contemporary rock. So some of those teachers will say, hey, once you know how to sing classical, you can sing everything. And I've had videos about that. Yes and no, it depends on the teacher. But if you are really interested in singing rock, pop, contemporary jazz, it's best to have a teacher that understands those styles because all the styles are different and there's different standards for what we are going for in those vocal styles. So we want somebody that 
understands and ideally can actually sing the techniques to you. So I personally don't like to do too much modeling for my students. I want them to do it themselves, but I can demonstrate the concepts. So you want your teacher to be able to demonstrate what they are teaching you. And so that definitely goes for the vocal styles that you want to learn. So that's the second question. Number one, what is your goals? What level are you? Number two, what kind of music do you want to sing? And at that point, then you can start looking at what's the best teacher for you. Now, what I talked about, are you live by me? I've actually had students that were going to take lessons from me, but they said, oh, I found someone who lives across the street, or I found somebody who's next door. Now, that could work, but again, teachers aren't all the same. Just because someone lives next door to you doesn't mean that's the best fit for you. And again, you don't want to spend time and money not making any progress. So today we have options to take lessons from some people all over the world. I have been doing online voice lessons one-on-one um, -on -one through Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, probably about seven years now. And I know online lessons are still considered somewhat controversial, however, People are doing them all over and having great success. So don't limit yourself by only the teachers in your area because it's better to have lessons from a good teacher that's helping you than a mediocre to bad teacher that's in your area that doesn't charge very much. Because if you want to make an investment in your voice, you need to make the best investment. And less lessons with a good teacher is usually gonna get you further than a lot of lessons with an only so-so teacher. So that's how I suggest you find a good voice teacher. And again, I do need to talk about learning to sing on videos with YouTube without any feedback. I think that is helpful for people who may be at the intermediate level, who've had a basic foundation of voice training. But again, it's very, very difficult to learn how to sing by just watching videos. And the reason why is because people are not aware of their habits. The habits are so ingrained, they don't understand where they might be holding tension or doing weird things with their face because it's so ingrained. And that's why I feel singers need one-on-one -on -one feedback in order to really progress. Because if you don't, you are only practicing your bad habits, which is only going to keep them in your system and you're not going to progress because that bad habit is still there. All right, tell me any tips that you might have found for finding the best teacher for you. I would love to hear about it. And also thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. I so appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the bell and then you will be notified with all my uploaded videos. Also, Please add me on Facebook, Vocal Splendor Studios, because I'm looking forward to doing some more live streaming and I want you to be part of it. All right, take care, have a great day, and sing on.